Hi everyone, it's Russell Lowe speaking and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to split this uh, model apart and uh, lay it out flat so we can laser cut it. Uh, to do that we're going to create two new component groups. One's going to hold all of uh, these uh, parts, these components, and the other one is going to hold a copy of all of them. The reason why we're doing it like that is so that we can edit the original one and it'll flow on through to the, the one that we lay out and they'll be linked and therefore if we need to change the design later on we can and we don't need to do the layout stuff again. Uh, so the first step is to create a new component. I'll do a slow click on that, slow double click actually uh, on that. So I highlight the name and call it 3D model. And then I'll capture everything here. So hold shift down and click to the bottom of the list. That's everything and drag it into that component. And you see they're all there. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll create yet another, the second component and we'll call this one slow double click on it, we'll call this layout. Hit enter, I'm happy with that. Select all of the components again, right click and go uh, copy, select my new component, right click and go paste. Now we paste, not paste new, so don't select paste new, uh, select paste. That'll keep the uh, connection between the original and this copy in the way that we want it. And uh, then ah, it's also giving me an option to move it off to the side, which I'll which I'll do. Uh, go OK, and then we can hide the original one. So now we've got this uh, copy that'll be driven by that original one. Uh, if we want to make any changes back into this, we can do that. So I'll minimise that. Uh, and now we need to lay this thing out. And the easiest way to lay it out is to use uh, the Align tool. So use the Align tool and we've got components selected, which is important because we want to align components. And let's align everything with this top face. So select that one and then align it with that one. Uh, select this one, align it with the top one again, and so on. Sometimes these ones that move through uh, 90 degrees will snap to the wrong face. So if we just select it again and go align to that one. This might do as well. Oh, that one did it, see? So align, align there. This drops it down. So yeah, it's definitely these ones with... Uh, that are perpendicular. It's got two options and it seems to be, here we go, let's do them all at once. That one's aligned good, aligned well I should say. Okay so now they're all aligned to that surface there so let's just go okay to that. Now we need to move them so they're not overlapping each other. So why don't we use the move tool? So select the move tool first and it will, <clears throat> it will default to components. If you select one of these first, uh, it'll, so I'll cancel that. If I select this one first and hit move copy, it's, it thinks that I've selected just that top face and I want to move just that top face. I could go to components and then move it, but really go OK. But really what I just want to go is move copy and uh, Actually, the M is the shortcut, and this will speed things up. So click, so don't click. Hit M for move. It defaults to components. Select one of them. Shove it over here. Go Enter for OK. Hit M for move. Shove it over there. Hit Enter for OK to confirm it. M for move. Ah, uh, so faces I selected. Control Z. Uh, I selected the face before I selected M for move. So now it's called component, uh, enter, oh, don't select it first, hit M first for move, then select it. Here we go, shove that one over there. So all I'm doing is uh, hit enter, oh, don't do that. 
cancel that, hit M for move first, then I don't have to manually select, uh, change its selection from a face, I keep doing it, enter, says a lot that I can't do something and talk at the same time, M, enter, uh, M first, you can see I'm just, just spreading them out. Enter. Don't do it first. Cancel that. M first, then select. Enter with confirm it. Don't select it. Hit M first. There we go. Enter. And let's just move this one just to make sure. Control Z. Uh, M first. I'll just move it just to make sure there's nothing. So, uh, okay. So it looks like I've got them all laid out. And uh, now what I'll do, uh, well, actually in the next video, what I'll do is I'll shift these to a drawing and then um, put it across into a template in Illustrator and we'll further refine the layout in uh, Illustrator. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for that, uh, the last part where we get a file that's ready to send to the laser cutter and cut out.